light modifiers to go along with the flashes, I've got two umbrellas. I've got a big one and a little one. Um, the big one's better, the little one's okay, it's more portable. But um, basically, instead of just flashing the flash unit on your subject, you'll get tons of harsh shadows when you do that. So if you use an umbrella, it spreads out the light way more and it diffuses the light. So the light that's hitting your subject is going to be way more soft compared to just a bare flash. And the light stand that I have is just a regular light stand. It was a really good deal for the price. This umbrella and this light stand all come together as a, as a set for like 30 bucks or something. And that's a really good deal, so I would definitely check that out if you're into flash photography. I've also got two soft boxes. They're video soft boxes. This is just so I can get better lighting when I'm recording video. And the soft boxes came with a green screen as well. I think it's only like 160 bucks, so you get the two soft boxes and you get the green screen, which is a pretty sweet deal in my opinion. I also have a reflector, a reflector. This is so you can basically reflect light and bounce it back onto your subject. So if your half of your subject is in shadow, you can just use the reflector and fill in that shadow. This reflector is basically a five-in-one reflector. It has silver on one side, gold on the other side, half white, half silver on the other side, and black on the other side. You can also unzip the covering, and this will just reveal a, a diffusion disc, basically. So if the sun is really harsh, you can just throw this between your subject and the sun, and it'll remove all those really harsh, ugly shadows and make the lighting much more flattering when it hits your subject. So now, I also use tripods and light stands to place stuff on. Before, I was just using a bunch of clunky aluminum tripods that I got at the Goodwill, and those did work great for a long time, but now they're just so worn down, I can't even really even use them anymore. They're pretty much all broken. They still work a little bit, but I just never, I'm not gonna be using them at, hardly at all anymore because I got a brand new Manfrotto O55X Pro B. This tripod is amazing compared to all the other tripods I had before. Basically, the legs can extend so they can put, you can push the tripod all the way down to the floor and you can capture really close up shots on the ground. Another thing that's cool about it is that the extender pole can slide in upside down on the tripod. So again, you can get low angles. Plus the legs are solid and sturdy. And the tripod head that I have on the Manfrotto tripod is a ball head. This allows you to move your camera in any direction that you want to quickly and easily. Another thing I have is a little tiny, mo a little monopod that originally came from a tripod. This was the center pole extender piece, but basically the tripod broke, so this is left over. Now, I can do several things with this. I can capture photographs in weird angles. I can reach certain places that I wouldn't normally be able to reach. Another thing I can do is just attach my boom mic onto it and use it as a boom pole for a microphone. Pretty nifty, huh? Next, we have the Zoom H4n. This is for capturing high quality sound. The microphone on the Nikon D300S is not very high quality at all. So what I can do with this is take this little adapter thing, screw it on the Zoom H4n, and then mount the microphone on the flash hot shoe mount. And then what I can do is use this special cord. This is a, actually a very special cord. Um, I plug it into my camera and then plug it into the Zoom H4n and then I have high quality sound all in my Nikon D300S right here just like that. And now I also have a windscreen for the Zoom as well so I can place the windscreen on top of the microphones and it's resistant to wind. Hear the difference? Asden boom mic. I originally bought this for my Nikon D300S, but this does not work very well if you're just plugging it straight into the Nikon D300S. You'll want to either plug this into your Zoom H4n first, 
or your Zoom H1 or plug it into your video camera because it'll work on a video camera just not the Nikon D300S because the Nikon D300S is not very good with sound they don't know how to deal with sound so I also have a lavalier microphone I've also got various batteries and accessories that I use for different types of things but I rarely use this stuff so this is just kind of thrown in the back of my bag I have a gray card this card basically helps me out to take a custom white balance picture so I can adjust the color temperature in my camera so it matches perfectly in the environment. Really good if you want good color in your pictures. So the bag that I have is the Calumet bag that I got from Amazon. Uh, basically you can customize all the slots in it and organize your stuff any way you like. The other thing that's cool about it is that it carries a laptop and a tripod and it's also a backpack, so you can put it on your back. <laughs> Wireless remote for my Nikon D50. The Yungo cable release. This is a little tool where I can plug it into my camera and lock the shutter down for a very long period of time, beyond 30 seconds. I wish my camera could go beyond 30 seconds but I can't, so I had to buy this little thing. So I can record a really long exposure of the stars going by for like an hour or two. And I also can record um, really long exposures during the daylight when I'm using really dark filters. Cleaning utensils, this is a little blower brush. Um, basically blows stuff off your camera and you can also wipe dust off your camera with it. Oh, smells horrible also have a lens pen. One side is a brush and the other side is a, a special type of material that you can brush, you can place it on your lens and wipe your lens off with it and it won't hurt your lens. Lens tissues, I never use these at all. I don't know even why I have them. That has been my review on all the photographic equipment that I personally use currently. If you saw anything that you liked and you wanted to buy it, Check the links down in the description because all the exact stuff that I just showed you is all down there. So you can click it and get it right away. Also, the links are affiliate links. So if you buy something from one of those, those links, I'll get a small commission. So that helps me make more of these videos for you. So this has been the Photo Extremist and I'll see you in the next video.